Well, hey there, hero. It's David H. Lawrence, the 17th, and today I want to talk to you about microphones. In particular, there was a video that I did recently that made sure everybody kind of understood if USB versus studio microphones were confusing, that the microphone that I use and that I recommend, the AT2020 USB Plus, yes, that's right, I recommend that and I use that, um, Question was, what kind of interface is best to use with that? And the answer is there is no interface that goes with it because the interface is actually in the bottom of the microphone itself. So you plug it directly into your computer. And one of the comments on that particular video was from Jeff Steitzer who said, great to know, uh, already have that, but I also have a Focusrite. And I went ahead and I splurged and I got an AT2020-2035, which is higher on the pecking order of uh, microphones, and it's a studio microphone, it's not a USB microphone, so it has an XLR connector uh, on the end that plugs into the focus right. And the question that he asked was, is there any appreciable difference between the two microphones? And the answer to that is interesting, because sure, in terms of specs, absolutely there's a difference, and it's appreciable. It's a better mic, it's more expensive, it's got a, a richer, fuller sound to a degree, a very small degree, but to a degree the pickup is better constructed. The microphone itself is a little bit better uh, in terms of quality of materials and, and so on. But having said that, that doesn't mean it's going to make an appreciable difference in your voiceover career. Because the difference between the 2020 and the 2035, although it can be measured, is not something that you go, oh my gosh, yes, of course, your voice is so much lovelier on the 2035. There is a little tiny bit of difference. And it may not be a difference that you welcome. Because if you're recording in a space that, you know, isn't soundproof or at least sound... Uh, treated, then whatever advantage the 2035 has likely won't show up on your auditions and your finished work. Now, if you're in a booth, if you're in a studio bricks, or if you're in a whisper room, or if you're in uh, one of our booths, you know, then it's possible that you might hear a difference. But again, it's not the kind of thing, once you get it down to a 128K mono uh, audition, or even a 192K you know, crunched audiobook body is going to be that recognizable. There are so many other variables that would make a bigger difference in how you sound using the 2035 versus the 2020, your attack on the mic, the, the, the addressing of the microphone, where you are, uh, your, your talent. I mean, that's the big elephant in the room. If those things are all the same, then I would say, yes, there's appreciable difference in terms of the specs, but I don't think you're going to hear those appreciable differences when you actually use the microphone. And again, it depends on so many other things. But maybe that's why you asked the question in the way that you did. Is there an appreciable difference? And that's still a gray term that, you know, what is appreciable to one person may not be appreciable to another. A few dBs difference in terms of a frequency response curve or a uh, quietness level in a microphone usually doesn't have much uh, effect on the person's performance or the person's submissions. It's just a tiny, tiny little bit better. And it kind of comes back to the whole notion of it's not the mic, it's the person using the mic. Because you could be using a even worse selection than the 2020, but if you have incredible talent, the mic will make almost no difference whatsoever. Certainly you want to enjoy a great read and you want to enjoy a great bit of equipment use to complement that read. But I think that in general, if you're happy with the AT2020, I think you might be happier with the several hundred dollars you'll get back if you sell the Focusrite and the AT2035. And again, I don't know what space you're working in. If you're working in a very quiet space, a booth, 
then maybe the other way is, is what you want to do is, is go ahead and use the 2020 for travel or sell the 2020. I don't know. I wouldn't know enough. And even if you had all of those things, again, appreciable, not so sure I know. I don't know if that helps. I hope it does. Does it raise more questions for you, Jeff, or for you watching this video? Uh, let me know. I'd be happy to help you out with that. If you want to be on my list, I'd love to have you on that as well. If you're on voheroes.com, slide all the way down to the bottom of the page and fill out the form that says get on the list. And if you wouldn't mind giving me a like or a share on this video, I'd really appreciate it. I'm David H. Lawrence, the 17th. I thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you tomorrow.